Hey guys, today I'm just going to show you how to mess with the colors on Adobe Illustrator to get what color you need and whatever. Okay, so I am on the web workspace setting right now. You go to Windows, Workspace, and I'm on web. This is just how I like it, whatever you like, just tag along. Um, I'm going to go with a rectangle, and what I just did, I just clicked, and you can customize the width and the height, or else you can just click and drag and make it however big you want. So let's start with swatches. Swatches is just a bunch, it's a set of default colors and default gradients and default patterns. This is good for simple projects because it's just enough colors and that's pretty much all you need. It's just the basic colors. Um, next we're going to go to color, the color tab. I'm going to make another rectangle. The color is different because it's, you can choose, it's more customizable. You can choose what shade you need and what color you need. And I don't know, it's better for more complex projects because you can choose the exact right color that you need. Next, I'm going to make another rectangle. We're going to do a color guide. So I'll choose a pink for this one. And on the color guide, it's pretty much what it is, is um, colors that match the color that you already have. Um, go down to here and you have a lot more options. Uh, I'll go to cool. And let's say I like that purple. Then I can make another rectangle. And any of these colors go well with it. They're all good matches for this original purple that I chose. And then lastly, gradients. Make one more. And no, you don't see gradients over here. But that's okay. You can go to Window and go down to Gradient if you don't have it. So to get the gradient, you can choose your type Linear for like lines or radio for a circle. I'm going to go with Linear. Um, the angle is for specific angles. You can customize it like this and say 52. And it's more on an angle, not like side to side or up and down. So to pick your colors for the gradient, you can go to swatches or color or color guide. And all you do is you click a color that you like and drag it in. To get rid of a color, you click the color and drag it down. Now you can position these colors however you want. I'll get another orange. And a goldish color. And you can choose like the distance between where the color shifts and just stuff like that. This is really good if you want to make your objects look 3D because it just gives it more of like a shadow look. And that's about it for today. Thanks for watching.